this video, I have four frugal living tips to share with you. In fact, these are four products I use on a regular basis to help me save money every single month. Every little bit more you can save really helps. These simple lifestyle adjustments have helped us greatly over the past seven years. These are things I personally do almost every single day of my life. So let me walk you through a typical day and show you some of the things I do to save money. And by doing these things and living more frugally, we're able to fuel our retirement income faster. Comment below to share how you find simple ways to save money every day. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to drop a like. The first thing I wanna talk about is shaving. Now who here likes buying expensive razor blades? Not me, I know I don't. This first tip I'm gonna share with you doesn't really save me a lot of money, but I wanna mention it because it virtually eliminates my need to purchase razor blades anymore. I did some research on this, and it is estimated that the average cost of shaving, at least for man, ranges anywhere from $40 to $110 per year, depending on how often they shave and the method they use to shave every month. Now when I shave every morning, I actually use two or three different tools to do so. First, I use an electronic razor. Usually Remington is the brand I use. I've had this for about three years now. Still works great. I originally purchased this at TJ Maxx for around 40 bucks, but you can find these on Amazon as well. Now this is the first thing I use every morning when shaving. And if you think of this as like a landscaping tool, this is like the lawnmower. Full disclosure, I'm, the products I'm gonna be mentioning in today's video, I'm gonna have affiliate links for down below. And the way that works is if, you, if you're considering buying the product and you wanna support the channel and the work I do here, then please consider using my affiliate link. The price of the product will remain exactly the same to you, whether you purchase it through the affiliate link or if you go to Amazon directly. The only difference is Amazon will share a portion of the revenue with me versus all of that revenue going directly to Jeff Bezos. The next product to use is the Philips Norelco One Blade for the fine details. This is a great Christmas gift to ask for. Usually runs around 35 bucks or so, give or take, but the price can fluctuate. I got this razor in December of 2018 and it's been working fantastic. I haven't had to replace the blade once yet because I don't have to use it a lot, but it, it does. I'm really impressed by how well it works. The last tool I use is a regular razor and it gets the remaining 5%, 10% of facial hair if there's anything left. And then we're done. Now to buy these three tools, the razor, the one blade, and the Remington, it's probably around a hundred bucks, give or take. But once you have those three tools, you're not gonna have to replace those blades or any blades for a very long time. I don't even have to buy shaving cream anymore, which is really nice. The Remington has lasted me three to four years. The one blade has lasted me a year so far, and I don't have to re replace the blade yet. I don't expect to for quite some time. And I've been using the razor for about over a year now with no issues. If I average out these costs over a longer time period, I'm probably only spending about 15 to $30 a year on shaving supplies, which equates to $2.50 per month. Really not a huge monetary savings, but it really saves me more time than anything else, which is why I like doing it this way. Especially if you like going for a clean shaven kind of look. Cause like for me, for example, if I don't shave, after about a day or so, I'm gonna start looking like Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. And I don't wanna be that guy. You shall not pass! Now let's talk about coffee, because coffee is an area where people spend a lot of money in varying amounts. About a year ago, I received a Keurig as a Christmas gift, and I completely fell in love with it. Yes, but at first your wallet was scared shitless when it found out how much K-Cups were going to cost. That's true, Chipper, but luckily I learned about reusable K-Cups. Now, I like to purchase my coffee at Costco. I can buy two to three pounds of coffee grounds on sale for about six to nine dollars on average. A serving size for one of these K-Cups is either like one and a half tablespoons or about two tablespoons, give or take. And for the large quantity of coffee I can purchase from Costco, for six to nine bucks, I can get about 160 to 165 servings. Therefore, if you run the math, my cost per cup of coffee is about five to 10 cents if I drink black. If I add sugar and creamer, then I'm looking at about 15 to maybe 25 cents per cup. 
But still, that's about 10 times less expensive than just purchasing a regular size coffee at Starbucks. 10 times less expensive. Let that sink in for a second. Damn! So using this method of drinking coffee runs me less than about 100 bucks per year. And to save even more money when it comes to coffee, at work, they have it there for free. So all this, I won't even bring my own. I'll just drink what's at work for free, and I might even bring my own creamer. Because coffee can really get expensive over time, especially if you're going to Starbucks every day, or if you're going to some fast food establishment every morning to get your coffee. If you've seen some of my older videos, you know I just hate, I really despise spending money on cell phones. They've gotten so expensive now. You guys know what I'm talking about. $1,000, $1,100, $1,200 now. It's getting pretty crazy. It's, it's getting out of hand. So how do I save money on cell phones? Well, there's, it's really a no-brainer, but I use eBay. And I love shopping for cell phones on eBay. So here's what I do. And this takes some discipline. So I recently, finally, I bought a new cell phone. It's, I bought an iPhone 7. So get this guys, I bought this, I think in May or June of 2019, so fairly recently, it brand new, never been opened out of the box because this is about four years old now, only 260 bucks with tax and shipping. Super cheap. Compare that to a brand new iPhone, which is running anywhere from about a thousand to $1,300 depending on which model you buy. And all the phone plans now are geared to get you to spend money monthly. They want you to be renting your phone every few years and getting a new one, just like leasing a car. I don't play that game, nah. So I'd rather buy my phone outright, which I did, and then activate it. And if, you, if I keep this phone for four years, which is about how long I keep each cell phone I have, then my cost per month for this phone is only $6 per month compared to if I were to change out a phone every few years, I'm then I'm paying about $30, $35 a month on average. No thank you. Okay guys, are you ready for the biggest money saver I have for you in this video? Are you ready for it? Here it is. Meet Igloo. Igloo, meet YouTube. YouTube, meet Igloo. First off guys, what do you notice about this lunch pill? Oh, I know what I noticed. It's boss size. You can pick one of these things up at many different stores, and believe me, it is worth its weight in gold. Usually these things will run you anywhere from about 20 to 30 bucks on average, depending on where you buy it and if it's on sale, etc. Now, as you guys can see, there is a ton of space in this thing. You can, there's not only enough space for me to bring my lunch, but also dinner as well. And so it's nice to be able to fit both lunch and dinner into one container and still have plenty of room left over. And the amount of money this thing saves me is absolutely ridiculous. By spending 25 bucks or whatever this costs right now, or around that, it saves me a substantial amount of money every month. So think about if you had to, you probably have people at work that you observe, they go out to lunch often, right? They're always going out to lunch. Well, if you think about it, every lunch you go out to is probably gonna cost you, on average, anywhere from seven to 20 bucks, depending on where you go. So with this thing, I'm not only able to get lower than that, I'm able to get most of my meals less than $5 per meal. Sometimes my meal is only about three bucks per day. Compared to a person, if they're going out to lunch every day, they're spending anywhere from seven to 20 bucks. So the savings really adds up over time. And not only that is, not only you're saving money, but you can have healthier options because you can bring your food with you. So if you run the numbers, Instead of me going out every day and spending around $400 per month, I'm able to have all my meals, all my lunches, for less than $200 a month. These small things can really equate to large, large dollar amounts, especially if, you invest, if you're able to invest these savings every month and they compound over time, it could lead to hundreds of thousands of dollars more in retirement later on for you. So I wanted to share these four money saving tips or products that I use on a regular basis because you know, at first it was hard to adjust this to this lifestyle, to the electronic shavers, to this the lunch pail, to having those reusable K cups. So those you know different little things are purchasing a, an iPhone over eBay, an older model versus a brand new model, all all those things. So it took some adjustments, but it's completely worth it. At least for me, I have found it to be. 
because now all of that extra money, the savings, my family and I, we can invest that every month and build our passive income sooner rather than later. And so that we can have options in life, later on in life, that other people just won't have because they're spending their money frivolously on expensive lunches, on expensive coffees, or whatever else it may be. And if passive income is important to you, which I assume it is since you're watching this video, then these are little things you might try doing yourself to start saving more money every month. And I would, like I said earlier in the video, I would love to hear in the comments what tips and tricks you have to share with other viewers here and how you save more money every month. And because sometimes, sometimes we have to spend a little to save a little in this case. So I, I would gladly invest in these products any day of the week because over, over the last seven years, it saved my wife and I a lot of money. All right, guys, well, that is all the information we have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below, consider sharing this information with others. Every single week, usually every Sunday, we produce a new video around finances, investing, taxes, and more. So make sure you're subscribed to not miss any of our future uploads. Thanks again for watching everybody. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here. It means the world to me and I'm honored to have you as an audience. Until next time guys, have a great week, live life uncaged, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.